Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I want to show you how to solo Herbaceous Sprouts from Pencil First Games. So this is a dice game that is set in the same world as Herbaceous the card game, and we're going to be looking at beautiful herbs, beautiful art, and we'll be fighting against an evil rival gardener. So here's our garden. And basically what we're going to be doing is trying to collect sets of dice that meet the criteria of different parts of the garden. So in this section of the garden, you want dice that are all the same face. Here you want dice with different faces. Here you want pairs. So sets of one, two, and three pairs are going to score different amounts of points. And this is the flower garden, which is the only place where you can plant flowers. And basically you need a flower die and a trowel to actually do that planting. So as you can see, every space on here is worth a different number of points. The winner of the game is gonna be the person with the most points. Well, in this case, me or the bot with the most points. And as you can see, there are certain spots where if you're the first one there, you get more points than the person who gets there second. Setup for the game is pretty simple. We're gonna give ourselves our little garden card and our tokens. These are the tokens for the rival gardener. These are the AI cards that I'm gonna be showing you how to use through the course of the game. And these are tool cards that we're going to be drafting each turn to get combinations of new dice and tools. The dice are all in the bag. We're gonna set up this tool deck as if it is for a two player game, which means that we're gonna remove 10 of these cards. So basically when this deck runs out, that is when the game is over. So it has an automatic sort of timer on it. This card appears the lemonade card. It's an extra two points that goes to the first player to place a sprout in every section of the garden. Because you've been working hard, you get some refreshing lemonade. For the last part of setup, we are going to roll two dice that we automatically get to put in our wheelbarrow. As you can see, there are only seven spots for dice in the wheelbarrow. That is a hard rule. Okay, so we are going to start off with two saffron sprouts. So we might choose to do pairs or sets depending on what the other dice give us. So to set up for the first round, you just draw three tool cards off the top of the deck. And then from left to right, you roll dice for them. So we have a tarragon for the card with a glove. All right, so we have a tarragon and a saffron for the card with a watering can. Then we have three for the one with the package. Ooh, another pair. Okay, so just so you know, each of these little tools has its own power. So we're gonna talk about them as we go. Let's move this down so you can see the dice. There we go. Okay, so the one with this, um, this tarragon and then a glove. What's cool about this card is that the glove allows you to reroll one die in your pool. You do have to do the reroll immediately and it can only be one die at, per glove. Um, this is a little pot that has an extra tarragon plant in it. You can't use it exactly like a die, but if you're trying to create a set of tarragon, then you can play this as a die with other tarragon dice. This watering can, if you have a watering can and then you give up two herbs, you can plant a flower. We're not gonna have any flowers coming up this turn, so we cannot see that just yet. But um, here we can have a couple of other dice as well. And then this one has three dice on it, and how convenient that you should have a couple of bay leaves on here. Because this package means that you can turn a bay leaf into whatever other die face you want. In a solo game of Herbaceous Sprouts, we're gonna be switching between playing the Master Gardener and the Assistant Gardener, but our first turn is going to be a Master Gardener turn. So I'm gonna walk you through each part of that turn. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this bag symbol. What that means is that we take a die from the bag, roll it, and then we get that die. So we got an extra lavender to add to our wheelbarrow. Now we're gonna take a turn, and what taking a turn consists of is drafting one of these cards, doing whatever power that we want from the card, and then planting as much as, or as little as we like in the garden, depending on what dice we have. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take this card with these three dice, and we're gonna talk through what they do. And then I have this power on the card where I can turn a bay leaf into something else. So I'm actually gonna take that bay, one of them, and I'm gonna turn it, into a saffron. I'm gonna to try to get as many saffrons in this turn as I can and see if I get something cool. What this glove with a plus means is that I can reroll all or as many of my dice in my pool 
as I like, but I have to do it all at once. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna reroll these three and see if any of them come up saffron. And they didn't, but that's life. So we now have a lovely set of herbs, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plant even though it's not the most points in the world, I'm gonna plant my three saffrons for four points up here. And then the dice go back to the back. So now I've done my turn, and now it's gonna be the turn of the AI. So the way the AI is gonna work is that these dice are all just gonna go back in the bag and the cards will be discarded, but we know where the AI is going to go from what's going on in the bottom left corner of the card. So here, you can see that we are gonna put it in the forget-me-not two spot. So one of the rival tokens is going to go here. We'll discard the card. And then here, um, the peony two spot is also going to be taken up by a rival sprout. So basically I have four points. Now they have four points too. So this game will be pretty tight. So now we're going to just set up for another round. We're going to flip this card and I'll be the assistant gardener this time. And I'll show you how that works. So now we've got these three cards out. We'll roll some dice. All right, so bay, bay, lavender, tarragon, tarragon, rosemary, a trowel in case I want a flower, but I don't have any flowers right now, and then a tarragon and a bay leaf. Okay, so what happens in the assistant gardener turn is that the AI is actually going to get to draft a card first, but they only plant one sprout this turn. So it gives me a chance to kind of catch up if I'm behind or stay caught up without them going too far ahead of me. So they're going to draw a card. No, I was actually kind of feeling this. So this is a shame. The other thing that's really bad about this for me is check this out. So these card, these dice will go back, but see how this is in the same type of plant section of the garden with the six? That means that this thing just strolled on in and got the best spot in the whole game in terms of points without any work. How rude. The consolation prize that I get is see this little pot down in the bottom corner? I get to tuck it under here and use it as a bay leaf later. I'll move it up so you can see what I have. There we go. Now I get to choose something. So I'm gonna take these. I think what I'm going to do, also I get to turn a lavender into anything, but that doesn't help me in this particular case. But what I do want is I want three pairs. So I can use this as one pair. So I have a pair of bay leaves, I have a pair of tarragon leaves, and I have a pair of rosemary. So that means that I can put a sprout here in the three pair spot. So he might have gotten 12 points, but at least I can kind of catch up a little bit with nine. And then this will just be discarded and nobody will play it. And that was turn number two as the assistant gardener. So now we're going to flip it back to being the master gardener and we'll set up our tool shed again. So we'll roll three dice. One thing that this game does have is a lot of rolling. I don't mind. I find that sort of fun. But if that's not your thing, be warned. Trowels, 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 but no flowers. I don't remember what that was, so I'm just gonna re-roll it. Okay. So here are our choices. We get to go first. We also do get to take a die and roll it. So I'm gonna get a re-roll coming up. Now I can take my turn, let's see. So I'm not totally sure what dice I want, but I do know where I don't want the AI to go. So if I don't take if I don't take this card, they're going to go here. If I don't take this card, they're going to go here for nine points. And if I don't take this one, it's just a flower. So I need to take one of these. I think I'm probably going to take this one. Now, I think I'll take this one, even though it's a point difference. The reason for that is that I like this power better for me right now. I don't want two trowels. It doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to take these dice. I do have this package that's going to allow me to turn a rosemary into anything else. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this die and maybe these two, and I'm going to see if I can maybe get like a flower out of it, or I can turn 
No, I cannot, because only the green dice have flowers. I'm gonna see if I can get something interesting though. So let's just see what I roll here. Okay, actually that's kind of cool. So in this case, I got three rosemaries and then a saffron. I have this trial for if I get a flower later. So I think what I may do, well, I'm just gonna hang on and see if I can get some more rosemaries for later. I think that's my best choice. Hmm. Okay, so now the AI is gonna roll me bad. They're gonna come here and they are gonna come here. They're just eating up this garden. So these go back to the bag. These cards go over. I'm now the assistant gardener. So they're only gonna plant one thing, but they do get to draft it first. Okay. Ooh, a flower. I might want that if they don't take it. And then two. So a power glove and a bay leaf. All right, so the AI is gonna draft first. Okay, so they are going to take this card and they're gonna put a scoring token here, which I do not like, not one bit. Okay, so this card is gone. I don't discard this, I actually get to keep it right here. So that's nice for planting flowers later. Now I get to draft some things. So I think what I want, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. So now what that's gonna give me is I have the ability to reroll one die. I'm gonna reroll my saffron. Oh wow, I got a glove. Okay, let me think about this. I think what I want is I'm gonna reroll these two and see if I can get some more rosemary. So I didn't, but I did get this power so I can reroll them again. And that did not work out. I got another trowel and some lavender, but we'll do something with it, I'm sure. So now what I think I'm gonna do is I do have this little bay leaf down here, not a bay leaf, a tarragon. So I think what I'm gonna do for this turn is I'm just gonna go ahead and plant a flower, which I can show you how to do now. So to plant a flower, you need a trowel. I have another trowel here, but I'm just gonna keep it since this frees up space in my wheelbarrow. I'm gonna plant this forget-me-not. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the three space. Oh, that's not me. That's them. No, can't get them anymore. There we go. So those guys go back to the bag and then these will just kind of hang. That was a rosemary here. All right, so that was my turn. This will get discarded. And now we're back to me being Master Gardener. So let's do three. Ooh, a Rosemary, that's appealing, depending on what we get. This is appealing. I, just so you know, by the way, I cannot use a pot with this power, it has to be a die. And then, ooh, another forget-me-not, but the, wait a minute. That flower I planted should be here for four points. That was a forget-me-not earlier. Good catch. Okay, so this will be a lavender. This will be, ah. So we have a rosemary, a bay leaf, and a tarragon. And then here we're gonna have a lavender. Okay, so I get to pick first. Let's roll my die first and see. Okay, so I got another trowel. Hmm, what would be good? I think, I think I want this for reasons that I'll show you. So one thing that I cannot do, by the way, is keep all three of these dice. See how my wheelbarrow is gonna be a little over full. I'm gonna go ahead and ditch the trowel because I already have one and I don't think I'm gonna have too many more flowers. So now I'm at seven dice, I'm at capacity. This is gonna let me turn a tarragon into anything that I want. So I'm gonna turn this tarragon into a rosemary. And then for my planting phase, I'm gonna plant all five of my rosemary dice to put a sprout here for seven points. So I feel like that's a respectable move. It's about the best I can do at this moment. So now the AI is gonna dump these dice and they're gonna to come to this part of the garden where things don't match. No, it's pears. So they're gonna come here, 
jerks. Oh, and they're gonna take all my pair spots that are higher scoring. So as you can see, this is not a very nice AI. It's pretty tough actually. So now I'm gonna be the assistant gardener again. We'll draw some cards. All right, and then let's see, three dice. So saffron, saffron, bay leaf. Okay. Saffron and tarragon. All right, so let's see what the AI is gonna take. Ha, okay, so they are taking this card with a lot of dice on it, which is a bummer, but that's okay because see how this is um, the same plant in the garden in the three spot? That's already taken up by me. And what that means is the AI doesn't do anything. Ha, take that rude AI. Okay, now I have a forget-me-not and a trowel. So I can definitely plant that this turn no matter what. So now I get to pick another card. I think I'm gonna roll with, I'm gonna take the saffron and I'm gonna take this bay leaf. I get to re-roll something once. Let's re-roll the bay leaf and hope it's something different. Ha, a wild. Okay, that's actually great because it means I can pick. Uh, let's make it a rosemary. So what that's gonna mean is that, okay, so I have this bay leaf. I'm gonna do some fancy footwork here. First, I'm gonna plant a forget-me-not using this trowel and this flower. And we're gonna plant them in this three spot right here. Then I actually have five different types of herb. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm gonna mention it now. So this AI has gotten the lemonade card before me because they were the first to put sprouts in all four sections of the garden. I'm a little behind them, sadly. So I am, however, going to do one, two, three, four, five different types of plants and come here for eight points. So that was a pretty good turn for me. Now this will get discarded and we'll go back to me being the master gardener. So three cards come out. Interesting choices. I'm hopefully gonna get some good dice on here. Yeah, that was a tarragon, I think. Yeah. So tarragon, glove, and saffron. That will be a saffron. And this will be a rosemary. Interesting, okay. And then let me roll a die to see what I get. A bay. So here's where choices in the game get kind of interesting because if I let it take this card, I'm losing all these dice, which sucks, but um, it won't be able to plant anything there because the forget-me-not four is already full. So we're gonna let it take that one. We have to choose between these two. So it can either plant here for five or here for five. So it's a matter of what do I think I can get? I think instead of going for all the same, I'm gonna to try to go for all different. So I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna re-roll this bay leaf. Ah, I got another bay leaf. Great, um, but now the AI is gonna draft these two. So it's not gonna plant anything here, it will plant here, which is a huge bummer. But now I'm gonna be the assistant gardener and we'll see where it takes us. So we'll set our tool shed back up. A peony, those have not been very planted, have they? It'd be nice to get a trowel for that. Okay, so rosemary. Bay. And, oh wait, we don't roll anything for this, ha. Huh. Okay, so this card is interesting because it's basically draw two from the bag and then re-roll three different dice. So it's a different kind of card. So let's see what the AI is gonna take. Okay, so they are gonna take the interesting card, of course. So we get a saffron. And they are gonna take this card away. And what that's gonna mean is that they're gonna plant in the three spot for peonies. I spoke too soon. Here they go. All right, so now we get to choose one of these. What do I think would be good? 
Well, I'd like to try to go for a peony four. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bay and I'm going to take this card. So I get a reroll and uh, we're going to have three different bay leaves. So I think let's reroll one of them and see if we can get another type and plant. That did not work. Okay, so we have three bay leaves. Because uh, like all these of the same types aren't going to work for us. But it is what it is. All right, so we are going to do this peony down here and maybe hope that we can get a trowel soon. And then this will go away. So now we're the master gardener. Let's take out three cards. Ooh, those are, that's kind of exciting. Okay, okay. All right, so we'll roll three dice for here. Okay, so we got a super reroll. That was a lavender and a bay leaf, and then two. So another super reroll and a tarragon. Hmm, okay. And a watering can, which is potentially good if I want to plant that peony. All right, so here is my situation. I really don't want the AI to take this one. Because if I leave these two, it can't plant anywhere on this turn, which is really great. So I think just by default, I'm going to take this card. So we're going to take the bay, the lavender, and the glove. We're going to take this trowel. The question is, can I get a flower out of this? I can. I can plant this peony. So that's also very good. Yeah, I like that a lot. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to get that planting done. So I'm gonna put one of my tokens here. Ha, okay. So now I have this reroll glove and I need to decide what I wanna do. I can't plant over here anymore. This part of the garden is full. So I need pears, maybe, or I need different dice. So maybe I can take this as a pear and then reroll these four to see or I can take this as a pair and reroll all of these to see what I get. Let's try it and just see what happens. Ah, don't escape. Okay, that was Saffron. All right. So I can do another reroll, but check it out. We got another pair. And then this is a pair. So that's actually really good. Let's save the glove for the next turn because you don't have to use it right away. So this is one. So what I'm doing, by the way, is that this is one pair, two pairs, and then three pairs. So I'm going to go ahead and just take over that second space. I think that's a good play. All right, so let's clean up. So we're keeping these two dice. These dice I'll go back in the bag. And then these cards that I used will be discarded in their respective piles. Okay, so now on this uh, enemy turn, what's great is that there's already spots of tokens of theirs in these spots. So they don't actually plant anything this turn. That was awesome. So these cards just get discarded, but they got nothing, nothing I tell you. So now we can do the assistant gardener turn. We probably have one round left. This is the last turn. Okay, so let's roll something good. All right, so Rosemary and Lavender, Tarragon and Saffron, a Bay Leaf. Okay, so they're gonna go first. They are gonna take the middle card, just whatever it is, it's gone. Fortunately, they've already planted there, so they actually have another kind of bum final turn. And good riddance. Now I get to pick what I think is gonna do the most for me before the end of this game. Hmm. Well, I do have this reroll. What can I do? What can I do? All right. I'm going to take a risk. Because what is life without risk? I'm going to take this, these dice. And then actually it's not even a risk. I can turn anything into anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this die and I'm going to turn it into a tarragon. And see, now I have four different types of dice, so I can plant a sprout 
right there for five points. And now there are no cards left. This will just go in the discard. And then it's a complete game of Herbaceous Sprouts against the rival Gardener. So let's count up our points and see how we did. So our rival got two for the Lemonade, plus two, two, so that's six, 10, 13, 16, 19, 25, 30, 39, 51. Oh man. Let's see what I got. I don't think I got 51, but we tried. So we have nine and seven, which is 16, plus another seven, which will put us at 23, 27, 30, 38, 46, 51. We just tied. So what that tie means is actually that I kind of suck at this game, which is fine <laughs> because there's a single player scoring chart at the back. So the idea isn't to get a higher score necessarily. It's not about the number of your score. It's about how much higher your score is than the AI score. So a one to three is a fledgling grower. I'm at zero. So let's go with total noob. I guess that's me, but hey, it's a fun little game. The AI, the AI runs really smooth. It's a very peaceful play. And uh, if you are looking for a very light, very quick, very chill solo game, then this may be for you. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Consider leaving me a coffee at the coffee link in the show notes. And as always, happy gaming.